¿Qué tal estos chicos de CKGC? Les soy Oh My Cat y el día de hoy nos encontramos en el Press Tour Latinoamérica 2017 by Banda en Nanco. Tenemos un montón de novedades, juegos y lanzamientos solo acá por las pantallas de CKGC. It's been great. I mean, everybody's so excited for all the games we brought down here to see the energy, uh, the enthusiasm. It's just amazing. Um, definitely, you know, we know the Latin American fans are very heartfelt. They're very genuine. They have a lot of passion. So it always energizes us to come down to see you guys to get the word out about, you know, our upcoming products. Yeah. Talking about passion, how is about Tekken 7? It was awesome. I was playing them. Yeah. And I think the fighting game culture down here is very strong. Yeah. Uh, actually, we have Paradas on here from the Tekken team. He's our director on the franchise. Prior to reach, to coming to Santiago, he was actually in Lima, Peru for a Collision, a fighting game tournament. And just to see, you know, hundreds of fans down there very excited for Tekken 7, seeing the press. Uh, the press core here cheer when we said oh we've got Tekken 7 for hands on here and you know as they're playing they're making so much noise because they're so excited just proves to us that there's definitely a big fighting game culture in Latin America and definitely in uh, Chile as well. The players or the gamers here in Latin America, especially in Chile, we can, they can, uh, I don't know, think in a, a presidential event from Bandai Namco, but no more exclusive more to open to the public. It's, I don't know, it's probably in two months, I don't know. In terms of? Well, an event, a public an event. event. Oh, like a public event. Yes. So for Chile, usually our public event for the year that we would support is like Festi Game. Okay. Because that, that's obviously a big draw for all gamers in the area or maybe even outside of the area. And it makes it a lot um, logistically easier for us to interact with all the fans at that point. Well, I, another question I was writing is what do you think that has been the biggest challenge in the field of communications and um, in the development of video games? What are in your position? What is the biggest uh, uh, The biggest challenge? Yes, the biggest challenge. I would say, you know, because in my position it's it's a very international job that we, you know, not only work with Latin America, but we work with Japan for us, you know, as a Japanese company, and then we also work with uh, Europe as well. So there's a lot of coordination. Obviously, everybody likes to communicate in their own specific way as well. Americans speak a certain way, Latin Americans speak a certain way, Japanese, Europeans, you know, it's, it's very difficult in a way to coordinate the message that we want to bring across to our consumers and fans around the globe. Uh, we don't want everything to sound the same because it, it is important for us to be able to speak to our fans in a genuine way. So that is one of the bigger challenges that we usually deal with. Yes, talking about that, uh, how do you feel the feedback of gamers here in Latin America? It's worth the feedback? Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely worth the effort because we've seen it. Uh, we've seen it not only in fan enthusiasm, but we've seen it in the support for our titles also. And that's what makes it possible for us to continue coming down here to promote and to see people, to run contests, to do more on the social media just for Latin America. It's definitely very much noticed by us. We watch for it. And then we also push for additional support with our bosses so that we can continue that as well. Now, um, the last question. No, we just come down here. Yes, yeah, so we don't have any uh, Fan Namco employees based in Chile. Yeah, we do. The only office we do have in Latin America is Mexico and Sao Paulo. Yeah. Well, thanks for the interview. Um, that is all. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs>